I'm joined here with Todd Robinson, the Director of Education for LPSD, and today we're going to run through the highlights of 2019 through throughout the school division. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for coming in. Well, oh, thank you for having me. Glad of, to be here this of morning. Of course. So in 2019, how or what are some of the biggest highlights that um, the school division has seen or different events that schools have put on? Sure. It's been a great year uh, for Lloyd Public in 2019. So proud of the efforts of our staff and students. I think if I think back about some particular highlights, I, you know, I always go back to June and graduation. And last year uh, we had the largest graduation class to leave Lloyd Public, I think, in history. So that was really exciting. Uh, my daughter was part of that. So of course, a little personal connection there. Uh, but I think also about our academic results. Our graduation rates are uh, trending well above the provincial average. Our reading scores at grade three are again trending above provincial average so many great uh, situations around academic success and then athletic success as well. Our Barons football team were the Wheatland Football League champions again this year. Um, just yeah, just so many good things, uh, arts, athletics, academics, just so many great things to be proud of in Lloyd Public. And as the Director of Education for the whole uh, division, what, what are some of the biggest moments that you've seen personally throughout um, the school year, like especially like with the, that championship uh, with the provincials, with the football team and the different arts programs and shows and stuff like that? As a Director of Education, how does that make you feel that so many kids are getting mm -hmm. involved in so many different aspects of school? Yeah, you know, that I, I really feel like I have the best job in the city, to be honest. I mean, I get a front row seat to see all the successes of our staff and students, whether it's attending band concerts or cheering our barons on on the sidelines, uh, getting to see firsthand at scholarship nights the, the achievements of our kids. Um, we, we have some amazing, amazing students in Lloyd Minster that are, we should be really, really proud of. Uh, certainly I am, and I know that doesn't happen without the, uh, the efforts of our staff as well to bring that along the way. So uh, for me, I get a front row seat to all of those wonderful events and wonderful successes and feel very fortunate to do what I do. And uh, with the, the big events, um, mm -hmm. even the small uh, little programs, mm -hmm. how to, like just watching the children and or the kids or the young adults um, participating, mm -hmm. what does that mean for the different schools specifically to have so much um, participation within the schools? Well, I, I think, you know, in, in any school division, what you're really seeking is engagement. You want kids to feel like they're connected to the school and that, that they belong there and that they're appreciated and loved and cared for. And, when I see things like our Strengthening the Path exhibit that was at uh, the Cultural Centre last spring where all of our schools came together and contributed to a project around reconciliation and the path that we're taking in Lloyd Public, uh, you can't help but feel really proud and feel like you're on the right track and that we're giving kids the opportunities to learn and to, to show us their best stuff. And uh, so I think that's really what it's all about. It's about giving kids a chance to excel and our personal mission statement in the school division is ensuring personal excellence for all kids. And I really feel like we do a great job of that and giving kids opportunity to, to really excel and be the best them. And how have you seen the 2019 year improve from years past? Yeah, you know what, I think really for me, it's about just gradual progression and improvement. Uh, we've continued to focus on the same things for the last number of years. Uh, our, like I mentioned earlier, our scores continue to trend up above provincial average. Um, you know, I, I've seen lots of really great work, I think specifically around reconciliation and a uh, sense of belonging for our Indigenous students in the city. Um, I just think it's, it's just about gradual growth and progressions and, and continuing to focus on the right things. Uh, and again, just a lot of really awesome key accomplishments for our school division. And I do go to a lot of these events to cover yeah. um, and seeing all these different uh, events that are kind of unique and these programs and stuff how how do these schools come up with these unique um, events or programs for the kids to get even more um, uh, involved and t maybe even learn a lot more um, with especially like that novel writing uh, mm -hmm. program that mm -hmm. is going on like how how are those created or what goes into actually making those programs possible right well you know I, I think at the end of the day that comes back down to just absolutely awesome teachers uh, you know and, and I attribute a lot of our success to that uh, we have really committed professionals that really care about their kids and want to provide them with opportunities to excel and shine and grow uh, whether it's development of special programs like land-based learning at Bishop Lloyd or Eco 9 at ES Laird, uh, the novel project that you're speaking of, uh, those start with teachers that have creative ideas and, and spend a lot of their own time and effort to try to make those pieces happen. So uh, in Lloyd Public, we, we are afforded the uh, luxury of having some really awesome teachers 
uh, in our system that our kids uh, get to enjoy on a day-to-day -day basis. And really quickly before we wrap up, what are your hopes for uh, 2020? Well, I'm really looking forward to 2020. I think on so many levels, uh, we're, we're really looking forward to getting a French immersion program off the ground at Bar Colony, something that the public system has not had uh, in its history, and so we're really looking forward to that. Um, really looking forward to being a big part of the summer games that are coming to the Saskatchewan Summer Games this summer. Uh, Lloyd Public will be a big centerpiece in that. Uh, a lot of, lot of students visiting our facilities and participating. And again, just looking at continuing to focus on the same things we have. Uh, there's a new sector plan coming out in Saskatchewan, so we'll have a chance to do some strategic planning with our community and our staff. So just really looking forward to some more really great things. There's always challenges, but lots of excitement that goes with it. So uh, we're, yeah, we're in a really good spot in Lloyd Public. All right, well, that sounds awesome. Uh, and thank you so much for coming in. I am sure that 2020 will just be, be just as good as 2019 and with all those new added um, bonuses as well to look forward to. Awesome, well, thanks for the opportunity to share. We really appreciate it. Of course.